Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. Sweet. Today's video is going to be short and sweet because as we all know, I did not read very many books in September because we moved. It's also going to be a little bit shorter because a lot of the books that I was planning on reading in September, I've decided to move on over into October so that I can still read them because I really was looking forward to reading them. So I'll just go through the three books that I did end up reading in September. It's about half of what I was anticipating to read, which I'm pretty proud of myself because I was pretty tired the entire month after we moved. And yet I was able to set aside some time so that I could actually sit down, take a break, and read a good book. So the first book I read this month was Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueko. I actually ended up loving this book, but I don't feel like it stands up to the hype that it was getting. I think maybe it was one of those situations where it was overhyped and I was expecting like this amazing life-changing book. And while it was really, really good, I don't think that it was life-changing for me. A couple of notes, I took a long time to get into this book. I don't know if it was the writing or if I had started reading this right when we were moving because that's absolutely true, but I didn't find myself really wanting to find out what happens next until probably about three quarters of the way through the book. That being said, even in the very beginning of the book, I was fascinated by the magic system. It's so different from any sort of magic that I have read recently. I think maybe the only other book that I've read that's like a non-traditional magic system is probably The Golem and the Genie, which is a fantastic book, absolutely highly recommend. And I think maybe the main difference between that one and this one is that that was kind of like more of a magical realism and this was like a full-blown, entirely new world. I think something else about this book is that I need visuals. I really hope that they make a movie out of this because just the way that they explained a lot of the details in this book, I found myself having a hard time imagining it but also knowing that this is a really luscious writing and I need to see it on the screen. And I was right in my original anticipation. This definitely had a Hunger Games vibe, especially in the beginning when they're in the children's palace. And of course you've got that young adult sort of style too. I will say also that I had no idea what was going on in a good way. I didn't see the twist coming at the end. I didn't see any of the storyline coming. I could not predict at all what was going to happen and I love it when that happens in a book. I gave this one four out of five stars. Next book that I finished was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book drew me in from the very beginning. I loved the old Hollywood vibes. That's always something that I've been really interested in. Maybe not necessarily the movies, but kind of the stories that were going on behind the movies as they were being made. I read this book because of the Late Night Book Club, which this is the first book that they did as part of their book club. I watched the YouTube live. It was a little bit late that I got to watch it because I wasn't finished with this book yet. And yeah, I just really found myself loving the characters. The only character that I know I didn't like was Celia, surprisingly. I definitely wanted the best for Celia, but I just didn't like her as a character. And I think overall my favorite character was probably Harry Cameron, which um, he definitely was my favorite husband of Evelyn's too. So yeah, this wasn't the best book that I read this year, but it definitely was a page turner for me. I give this one four out of five stars. Hi friends, editing Allison here to pop in and mention the last book that I read. I'm currently in a hotel room in Ohio, but I wanted to pop in and just let you guys know that I actually read three books instead of just two. I know I mentioned three books in my intro and I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that I read three books. So the last book that I read was The Vanishing Half. I listened to this on Audible and uh, I have to say that part of the reason I think that I forgot about it was it wasn't really a memorable book. Um, while I was listening to it, it was really good. It just towards the end got a little boring and um, I kept wanting something to happen. When the climax happened, I was expecting a little bit more and it just kind of tapered out. It didn't really come to any sort of conclusion or anything like that. So all in all, I think I would give this book a three out of five. Perhaps if I had been reading it myself rather than listening to it, it would have been a little bit better. And I think this whole month just kind of was a little off because of the mood 
move, but this one, while it was an interesting concept, I just wanted so much more to happen and it didn't. So yeah, that's all that Future Me has to say. I will pop on out here and continue with the rest of the video. Okay, on to what books I'm going to read in October. These are not in any order because I had such a hard time picking what I was gonna read this month also trying to decide if I was going to continue my list from last month or introduce a whole bunch of new books because there are a lot of books that I wanna read now. So the first book that I am going to read is actually a reread. It is His Dark Materials, The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. This is one of those books that kind of made me as a child. I grew up reading this, my dad read it alongside me. It is probably Harry Potter level of this is amazing and it's kind of a book that's under the radar for a lot of people. I know I introduced this to my husband and we are both obsessed now, which is one of my great points of pride in my life that I was able to introduce this book that I love to someone I love. So I think because we're getting ready to go on a trip, we're both going to re-listen to this because the second season of the His Dark Materials HBO show, which is based on these books, is getting ready to come out in November. So I wanted to have a refresh for October. Next on the list, we've already talked about it, Summer of Salt by Katrina Lino. I think this is gonna be a quick read. I just wanna get it out of the way. Um, I know it's not summer anymore. It's actually quite cold in Nashville now, and I'm actually getting ready to head up to Ohio where it's even colder. So I think I'm going to try and just get this one out of the way. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. I just need to read it. Next on the list, I also already talked about Faces in the Crowd by Valeria Luiselli. I am looking forward to this. I wish that I could have read it in September. This is part of the Life's Library book club that I'm part of, and I haven't even logged on to the Discord to see if anyone's talking about it. I'm sure that they are. And we're actually getting ready to start the next book. I haven't received it in the mail yet, but yeah, I wanna try and get this one done before they do the podcast, because they do a podcast for every book that we read. And I just feel bad because I get behind on a lot of these Life's Library books, and I don't know why, and it makes me really sad. So yeah, definitely gonna try and make an effort for this one. Last step of the books that I have already talked about that I intended to read in September, The Rise of Kiyoshi by F.C. Yi with Avatar co-creator Michael Dante DiMartino. There is a person I follow on Instagram who is obsessed with Avatar and keeps talking about this book and I just need to make it happen. I love Avatar Kiyoshi, I think she's a badass, and yeah, I think October is going to be the month for Kiyoshi. I have a couple of other books that I'm intending to read this month because they come out this month. I just don't have physical copies yet. The first one is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab wrote the A Darker Shade of Magic series, which my husband and I are both obsessed with. If you like the His Dark Materials series, you will definitely like A Darker Shade of Magic. And V.E. Schwab, I've been following her for a long time on Instagram. She talks a lot about writing, which one day I would like to be an author. So I love her insight on that part of it. But I also just like hearing updates about some of my favorite books that she's written and she's definitely given us some updates on A Dark Shade of Magic becoming a film. And also Addie LaRue just got announced that she has written a script for it as well so it's going to get a film adaptation. Anyway, this book I'm really excited about because it sounds really, really interesting. It's about a woman who makes a deal with the devil to live forever, but the trade-off is that no one will ever remember her, and then later on in her life, somebody starts remembering who she is, which I think is an interesting twist, and I'm really excited to read more about this. So that one comes out while I am going to be out of town with my husband, so I think that I'm going to stop at whatever local bookstore I can make it to, and pick that one up. And finally, the last on the list of the books I will read this month is Serpentine by Philip Pullman. That is kind of the lost chapter of Lyra's life from the His Dark Materials series into the Book of Dust series. It's a novella, so it's going to be really short. I'm sure I'm gonna devour it in like a day, but I have that pre-ordered and I'm looking forward to having it on my doorstep on the day that it comes out. So there you have it. That's my wrap up for September, as well as what I'm planning on reading in October. I'd love to hear what you were planning to read in the month of October if you just wanted to leave a comment below. Please make sure to like and subscribe and click that little bell up in the corner just so that you can get notifications when I make new videos. And as always, thanks for stopping by and keep reading!